speak with wisdom and learn to say the right thing. Proverbs 15 verse 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. Proverbs 10 verses 31 and 32. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked what is perverse. One of the important precepts for us to tame our tongue and gain mastery over the words of our mouth, the words we speak, is to learn to speak with wisdom and to learn to say the right thing. The tongue of the wise, as we read, uses knowledge rightly. It's one thing to have a lot of knowledge, to have a, you know, a lot of learning and a lot of information and a lot of facts and understanding and so on. But it's another thing to know what to speak at the right time, how to use that knowledge and how to speak that correctly. And that requires wisdom. It's the tongue of the wise that uses knowledge rightly. The tongue of the wise knows what information I need to give, what I need to say. So the, the tongue of the wise knows how to say the right thing. Or as we read in verse 32 of Proverbs 10, the, right, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. What is the right thing to say at this moment? And if we are watchful to do that, to make sure that what we're saying it's a thing that needs to be said, the right thing, thing that is acceptable, thing that is birthed out of wisdom, that our words are, are undergirded by wisdom, and the, that we are saying the right thing at a, any given moment. You know, then we can use our words in a way that will be beneficial for ourselves and for those whom we are speaking to and for, of course, for a lot of other things. Uh, whether you're in a corporate setting, you're in a business meeting, you're in a sales meeting, you know, boardroom, or you're in a design meeting or whatever you're doing, if you, will, you and I will speak with wisdom and learn to say the right thing, learn to say what is acceptable, then we can use our words correctly. We can put our words to work to bless people and our own selves. But on the, other, on the contrary, if we are just letting our words, you know, just ramble around, just come out uh, without much thought, we are going to face a lot of trouble because loose words, uh, the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness as we, as we read. And when we speak those kinds of things, they get us into trouble. So as we learn to set a guard over our mouth, one of the things we need to ask God is for wisdom so that we can use knowledge rightly, that we can learn to say the right thing, that we will know what to say and what is acceptable to be said in various situations that we find ourselves in. So let's ask God for that wisdom. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've given us, Lord, the grace to communicate, the ability to communicate, to speak. And yet sometimes our tongue gets us into trouble. Sometimes the words we speak are loose and they're hurtful. They, they cause pain and they break down and break people down and tear people down. So God, we pray that you'll set a guard over our mouth and you'll give us wisdom so that we know how to use knowledge rightly, how to speak what is acceptable. Help us to do this, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.